Okay, welcome to another training. This is Rory Rickard and I'm going to take you right into utilizing affiliate programs. Now, if you're watching this video, you're probably in the right place already, but we are on the RoryRickard.com site as it currently looks when we do this recording. It may look differently now because we're always changing and adding more things. We try to keep everything up to date as much as possible. That being said, where we are is underneath the posting link success guide we are under utilizing affiliate programs and that's the page we're on and we are going to focus on click partners which is the first affiliate program that we like to sign all of our students up with it's it's a easy to use easy to navigate great learning program it doesn't carry very many offers but don't be dismayed these offers are really good for what we're doing and it's a really good place to start and then after that you can just go down the page and go on to cash network and the other areas that we have so let's get started we'll go ahead and click on click partners now this is a closed network what that means is you can only sign up for that through this program and you can only log into it again through this program or this site some of you have access to this from your members area some of you do not based on how you know VIP status and whatnot but we made it available here so here what we're gonna do is you're gonna click on it click on click partners it'll pull up the uh, sign up page this is a very easy sign up page doesn't ask a lot of questions again we know that we're teaching our students how to use this so it's very basic it also comes with an automatic approval so once you fill this out you're gonna have an account immediately now some networks are going to make you wait for them to approve you and we'll walk through that step by step but this one's the easiest one to get into you'll go ahead and do that now you'll also come back to this page and you'll also click on it from utilizing affiliate programs again to log in but you'll go you don't need to sign up again you are already signed up you'll go to the top right hand corner and click login now when you do that it's going to bring up the actual login page and while that's coming up here let me explain this is another tab so we got tab one here this is another tab and if we need to add another tab we just select this plus sign here on the browser now pretty much every browser runs this way I'm on Mozilla Firefox I recommend that or Chrome to do affiliate posting work it just seems that they just seem to work the best now if you're using Safari it usually works pretty good too Explorer is my least favorite but again I'm on Mozilla Firefox here and you know depending on what's going on with updates of the browsers themselves I bounce back and forth between Chrome and, and Mozilla Firefox based on what's working best right now I'm on Mozilla Firefox it's working great I'm gonna log in now you'll notice on my browser I don't have a lot of toolbars I do have my main URL location up here and then I have a toolbar for RoboForm that's my password protection uh, um, password saving program of choice some people like log me in there's some that come with your browser it, it's just nice to keep those passwords protected and if you're like me you have several of them so it's a nice way to keep organized I can do this for my cell phone my tablet also obviously my computer which is what we're on right now so I'm gonna go ahead and select my uh, my password to put in here it's called a pass card I'll go ahead and fill and submit that in there it's gonna log me in and once we log in it's gonna take me to my dashboard uh, you know this is a very easy to navigate system it's pretty pretty cut and dry and right here it's gonna bring up my stats for the last seven days now I just set this up for this training you know process I started doing some postings you'll notice that my postings have already generated some revenue again I, I kinda know what I'm doing on this so we you guys are gonna be learning the same now it's not a lot of money it's a quarter but it does add up and the, the amount of work I did for that quarter was pretty small and that link is still out there it could generate more and more commissions for me as we go I just want to show you how it, it's gonna look when you you see these different things and that's a, a pending payout um, there's my Windows 8 kicking in sorry about that okay so we have impressions clicks conversions payout and year-to-date obviously it's a new account but this is you know it's just a quick dashboard to show you where you are with your link posting business with this network which is click partners now 10 clicks they don't generate revenue the, the conversions generate revenue and I got paid a quarter now it's it, it's under it's important to understand what you're getting paid for so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go look at offers um, under offers we have live offers and we have browse and search if you have a live offer that's an offer that you posted a link that is at least generating clicks if it's not generating clicks it's not going to show up under live offers yet if you look at my live offers you can see what I've started posting with I have started posting with the following two programs 
Social Media Offer 5 Hawaiian Products Giveaway. This is just a form fill or basically we're getting paid per lead that we generate. No purchase is necessary. That's why you only get paid a quarter. They pay less, but they require a lot less from the persons that are looking at it. Versamil is paid per sell. So if someone buys, I would generate a $4.50 or four dollars and fifty cents commission. Okay, those are the two that we're going to probably highlight today on how to post, and we'll go from there. But let's let's look at the offers. So we go look at the offers under browse and search. It's going to pull them up, uh, and you'll notice there's not that very many. There's not very many on this network. Don't be dismayed or discouraged. They're just very specialized offers, and they're really designed for link posting. Now you've got your preview page, which lets you see the actual offer, which is important because you need to pull description and information to post. You got the name of the offer which is what you select on to pull the offer up to get the information and then you have the payout um, you've got um, what, what you're running so in the last seven days EPC is effective um, or is earnings per click so this is saying that I had one click and I earned a quarter which is great um, and I'll show you where I posted that it was pretty fantastic um, here's countries it's available in Canada and the US this one's available in five countries and you know you'll notice in the in the locations for posting there's international places as well as the US and here's the category that, that the advertising or the offer is intended for now you notice there's three diet there's um, one work at home and two business um, and then there's you know a couple of beauty those are very top er the very top areas of people's interests online and you know again the whole secret to making money online is having the right product for the right consumer and, and, and making them meet and having an action take place and you get paid for that action. So we're going to focus first on the easy one here which is the social media offer 5 Hawaiian products giveaway and we'll go ahead and click and look at the, the, the landing page. Now the landing page is going to open up in a separate tab so we can close it down after we look at it and it's going to pull up this uh, you know pretty nice page I like it. There's a lot of, lot of uh, area here for description so it explains it all. So they they're offering four different types of products. They get you know they can win or um, they can get free products. And this basically shows you know they have interest in these products. And for doing that, we get paid a quarter. Now, not very hard for people to fill out. They basically fill out their first name, last name, email, and phone. And it needs to be real. And um, you know a lot of times if someone's trying to trick this, they you know submit you know what's called fraud, which is not a real lead they'll catch it and you can get banned from the network so you want to do everything honest and with integrity of course then that's best business practices anyway they'll select what they have an interest for they'll hit submit and that will take them to a thank you page and that'll create a lead now I'm not going to try to submit this I just want you to see that's all they got to fill out in this particular offer so I like that now I'm gonna leave this window open here because I need I need to pull out some descriptions and if I go to the top of the page, it says it right here. Um, okay. Um, okay, get free Hawaiian products. It seems pretty easy. Um, okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and open up a Word document. If you don't have MS Word, you can use like WordPad or Notepad and I try to get organized on what I'm going to offer so I put the date now I'm going to go ahead and put today's date it's uh, March 22nd 2015 and again this you know as you see this this becomes a little outdated if it seems like it's outdated we'll replace it when it is outdated but uh, the information doesn't change okay and the location um, I'm not actually sure the location yet and tiny URL I'm going to teach you how to do that and then here's the description so the description um, I'm going to put some stuff here and I'll probably edit it as we go along. So get free Hawaiian products. Okay. And this will look at a little bit more. So what are they giving away? It says, um, I'm just going to copy this. So I highlighted it. So here's my cursor. I drag my cursor across. It highlights it in blue. I'm going to hit the Control-C, or I can right-click and say Copy. 
then I go to my page that I'm creating and I'm just going to highlight that because I don't like how I said that and I'm going to hit control V to paste or I can hit right click and, and paste and it puts it right there okay and then click here to enter and I'm going to put my link probably there for the description unless it lets me put the web page so I, I'll start here to start creating my description and this is to, to be organized and then I'm going to go back to the click partners offers and I'm going to select that the name of that offer which is going to pull up my information or the offer details as it says here and this is my unique link okay this link when it's clicked on it lets them know that I'm the affiliate that sent the traffic there therefore they know to give me credit for the click and also credit for the sell and this one only has 68 days remaining on this offer and they might pull the offer down they might extend it so you know what I what I'm concerned about is I want to make sure I'm running this for 60 days if it's more than that I mean I get paid they might ex they might extend this um, this is a very common thing with offers especially for ones where they just pay per lead so okay and then they have they have information here what you can say I what I came up with is pretty good and you you want to get creative on where you want to put stuff they've got banners these are banners you can post in different places and this is the code for the banner uh, you know I'm not gonna worry about that so much what we're gonna worry about here is just a simple way to link post so this is the link now I'm gonna come here and, and figure out a source now I'm gonna go back to the page here and we're gonna go to free traffic sites and under free traffic sites we'll find a location let's see um, there's several of them here you guys have hopefully have been here before and I don't know let's uh, we'll just go to class that's going to open up a new tab and we got to pick a, a city or zip code we want to post it and this is where you can get really crazy on tracking so um, I'll go ahead and we'll put it in uh, Los Angeles California and I hit search okay now it does ask me to sign in which sometimes you, you can or you don't have to I'll go ahead and hit post a new ad and we want to start with the title so I need a title so I'll go back to my my page here and I didn't see a title so I'm gonna create one and I'll just put enter to win free products from Hawaii we'll just start out with that one so I, I'm keeping a record of it here uh, location And I'll start posting them down here now you can get really crazy on some of the stuff and I'm gonna try to make it really really simple but when you start getting results sometimes it's, it's nice to track down those exactly so there's the title now I'm gonna go here uh, free stuff okay that seems like a great category I could possibly put under sales and retail I could you know I could do it under different ones so we do it under here free stuff great Um, now it wants it wants pictures it wants price so price we go zero zero which is free um, we need a description it expires in three months now I know it's good for 60 days so I'll go, I'll go ahead and let it run for three months so it's a little over 
Um, hopefully they extend it, but it's going to be, we want to keep it as, at least longer than that. The options are one month or three, so we'll go for three. Um, go back to my description. Okay, I need to get my link created. Um, we'll go back to it. Now, you don't see a place here for a web page, so we need to put the web page in the actual description. So let's go back to creating the web page. So we come back here to Click Partners. Here's my link. Um, we're going to do it in class. And I'm going to go ahead and hit plus. And what I did is I added an affiliate source so that when I when I look at my dashboard and I see my sales, anything that came from here I'll know. Now if you want to get really on top of the places where you, you, you did that, I can add a source. And I can add a sub ID. So I could go class plus and I can go Los Angeles and I'll spell it right. So you'll notice that it added both those there. Okay. Now this is a long link. You don't want to use a long link. You want to use a tiny URL and um, you can generate one here uh, and, and, it, and that's actually pretty effective in most places. Now I'm going to recommend that you do the following every time and it's just because sometimes th these these engines or these guys behind it they see stuff that looks like an affiliate link and they really want to block it out because people like us really can take advantage of the system. What I've found is I like to create my own tiny URL and the way I do that is I'm going to highlight this right I'm going to copy it that was right click by the way to pull up the copy I'm going to go to a, 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 another page I'm going to go to tinyurl.com these guys were really the first ones to create it, hence the name, and they're accepted pretty much everywhere because you know it's used by universities, big you know government programs, so they don't really get blocked. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to paste my long link. I can see it along right there. You see it just pasted it. I select this button to make tiny URL. and it made a really short one right so here's the, here's a new one right here and I'll right click it oops I'll highlight it right click copy and then I'll go back to my my one page where I'm keeping track of everything oops There's my URL. I'm also going to add that here. Okay. Now it's in the description. And um, I'm going to copy this description and I'm going to go back to my post, which is right there. And I will paste it right there. Now I look at it, it looks pretty good. I want to space it out a little bit. So, um, you, you know, you want to make sure it looks good. And I just realized I don't like the way this reads because I don't show them the stuff. So it says each month there will be 10 winners, and each winner receive a sample pack of our products. Alright, so now I changed the whole verbiage on that. Now you got spacing in there. I'm going to copy that, go back to my description here. And that's what my description looks like. See, I modified that kind of on the go. And I'm going to go back to my page where it's there. Price is zero. I modified that so it reads a lot better. And I, I want you guys to see this. You got to think a little bit. You know, you got to read things, make sure it sounds good, right? And then edit it. Now we need. It's really good to have pictures. Now, the the problem with pictures is sometimes you got to go and create those and, and gather them up. 
So um, let's let's let me show you how to do that. Now, if you're one of my students, you should already have access to photos that I've gathered. If you work with a mentor, ask them for access to the photo file. We use a Dropbox. We'll get you set up with that. But those of you that are advantageous and you're really outgoing, this is how we do it. So. I find finding common domain pictures, which are pictures that have common license, so you're not going to get in trouble for using somebody's copyrighted stuff. The best way to find that is go to Google. So I open a new tab. I went to Google.com. And then right here in the Google search, I'm going to type Hawaii photos and I spelled Hawaii wrong so I'll fix that and it actually has it right there and here, here's stuff that came up right these are great so I'm gonna right click I'm gonna save image as and I have a place that I put all this stuff so let's see oh I do have Hawaii Slim photos already but we'll go to Hawaii Slim photos so that's Hawaii save image as Hawaii 2 let's sort of grab a few more some places let you put more than one photo so you want to have a good selection and sometimes the photos are too big or too small so it's good to have a selection so I'll keep correcting some of these Go ahead and hit more images for Hawaii. I'm sure there's plenty, right? It's a very popular place. So it's going to pull this up. And this is all setup work. Once I have the work done, you can just go to town and be really fast. But we're doing the setup work, and I'm showing you guys every aspect of it. I could get a little more technical, but really it's this easy. I'm just right clicking on it, I hit save as, I wait for it to pull up the file. And you'll see down here under under H, there they are. So Hawaii. I'm on Hawaii five. Six. All right, I could. You can tell you could go. You could spend a lot of time being crazy on this, and sometimes it's good to have a big setup. Right now, I feel comfortable. That I can probably go with it. So I'm going to go back to the posting. I'm going to hit upload. Um, obviously, it's already got this in there. If not, I go find the actual folder where it was at. But it's, here it is. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to go to. I'll just go to the first Hawaii photo. And there it is. Now it looks like it's going to let me do another one. So I'll go upload and I'll put uh, Hawaii 2. And it's let me do another one. Now 2 is great. I can keep doing more. I'm going to go ahead and just leave those two for essence of time. I do recommend using more. 
Um, I'm not a robot. So it wants you to do a robot test, which is usually a capture that makes me makes me fill in, which is like um, special code. I'll go up here, look at the other information under contact. It says optional. All right, so here it wants me to type the text. So I'll do that. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's try that again. I, I can't read those, so I'm typing. I'm trying to have it do another one. There we go. I. And for some reason, it's it's being really slow on mine. I can't even read these. I got a lot of software running to record this, so maybe it's slowing it down. I'm sure it's way faster for you guys. Anyway, so I'll do that. I'll hit save. There we go. <laughs> I'll hit verify. <laughs> I promise you it's not that hard. Um, there we go. It took it. And I'll look at it. Email. They usually want to email on here. Um, you guys should all have a separate email than your normal one for posting. Mine's very poster at gmail.com. Um, optional phone, optional this. I don't worry about any of these things. That's the location. I'll go ahead and hit save. Now let's look at it. Obviously, the images are going to take a while to load up. Um, it's pending confirmation, and then you can just click edit if you don't like it, or you can hit post another one. So this one is pending, and they're going to send me a link in my email when it's when it's been approved. So they sent me an email. You need to, you know, you're going to need to do all that. So. Um, I'll show you that process too, just to, to make it easy. So we'll go to gmail.com. And just so you guys know, I'm usually, by this time, I would have had about 50 of them done already. It, um, a lot more efficient when you're not recording it. <laughs> so hopefully you guys are following along. It's going to my my normal Gmail, but I'm going to log out of that and go into my poster one. And sometimes I have my Gmail in another browser so I can go back and forth between the two. Because, you know, Gmail only lets you run it on... Um, so I'm going to sign out. I'm, I'm definitely using a lot of resources to do this recording. We'll come back there in a second. While that's doing that, I'll go ahead and pull this up. And 
this is one way to keep track of it all because I'm using the same description. I keep one document for here. Uh, it expires in three months or um, April, May, June 22nd, 2015. Now I'm going to save this document so I have it. Um, I have a special place that I'm saving this already, so I have it right there. It's a tutorial, but I'll say link posting um, expires. I'll say June 22nd, 2015, and I'll save it that way. That way, when I go look at it in my folder, based on the expiration date, I'll go pull this up again and either go back and repost or, you know, check the offer and see if it's still valid, and then repost. Now between now and that time, if I start seeing activity, I might want to go there and post again, but this is what I do to keep track of what I'm doing. Hopefully this makes some sense. Now if you're extremely um, detail-oriented, I recommend doing it inside of a spreadsheet, which would look like this. So I'll pull up Excel. You got your different categories, so I like to do date, um, offer, tiny URL, location, description, and then um, expires. And you can, you know, you can pretty much do this to whatever you like to do to be organized with. And um, giveaway, for instance, I put the tiny URL here, location, Los Angeles, and then whatever I do the next one, and so on, right? The description is going to be the same for all of them, because once you get one, you just use that same one over and over again, Expi expires June 22nd, 2015. This is how I like to do it in Excel and keep track of this way. But I'm showing you the Word document because this is probably the easiest for everybody. You don't need to learn how to use a spreadsheet. And you just got to keep notes of where you posted. And sometimes you don't need to do that. You could just say, I just did it on class.org as many places as I could. You know, you could be that basic and get more advanced as you actually get a routine going. You know, being organized is something everybody does a little bit differently. I'm giving you some uh, strong suggestions on how to do it. Just get a formula that works. The spreadsheet is by far the best. You can put a lot more notes. You can carry things on. You know, you can, it's just they're good for that. But anyway, that being said, um, I'm just giving you an example. I'd use the spreadsheets. I know in some other trainings I use Excel, and we'll come back to it. If you do not have um, Microsoft programs, go to OpenOffice.org, and um, I'll even type it right here: um, OpenOffice.org. And it's free. And, and it has a word processor program that works like Word. It has an Excel program that works like Excel. Very similar. And you can open up Word documents and Excel documents in that program if you need to. And it's a free one. Um, you know, Get with your mentor if you need more help for that. But it's pretty basic. Um, so I guess I segued enough on here. Let's minimize this. Uh, we will... Min actually, I'm going to leave that post right there. I'm going to pull up... I'm going to pull up... Uh, this and it still has me in here, so let me see if it lets me log out. I just want to show you what the emails look like. Sorry, guys. Select Rory Poster. There's my funny face. There's my password. It automatically puts it in there. I'll go ahead and sign in. This is how you feel sometimes when you get frustrated that things aren't working right. But you know, take a deep breath, work through it. 
It's usually just the systems that are slowing down. Process is simple. <laughs> I'm recording this in very high quality, so it is blocking down uh, system resources. So there we go. It's pulled up my email. Um, and it's taking a while there to come, come up. So there's a new ad confirmation. So we're going to go ahead and uh, open this email up. I've deleted a lot of my emails, but you'll see I have some stuff in here, like from Gibo. Those are from stuff I did before. There you go. Your ad's been created, and you got to click on here to confirm the ad. And you probably have to do this. For some places they don't make you do it. Some places do it on every single one. Um, this one does, and it's important that you do the step, or else your ad that you posted isn't gonna isn't gonna be valid. And I promise you, it's way faster than this. But my system resources again are being told because I'm recording this in high quality. Here it goes right there. Okay, it's pending review. I've I've already uh and then here's my new added confirmation. Is this is this the email? Okay. That's there. I can go back to that one for more. I go there and I can click post another, which I have over here as well. But you know, post another ad. And then I just go at it again. Okay, that's. And then you, every time you post an ad with this with this particular site, it's going to make you validate them all. So that being said, we'll go ahead and leave this in here. I'm going to go to this one, and I'll go ahead and close this one down because I already have it opened. Um, there's my there's my Gmail. Okay, um, that's doing that. And I'm going to show you another thing to do with this this uh, this offer. All right, so there's my link and. Um, I'm going to refresh it by clicking this. All right, I'm going to change my affiliate source. I'm going to remove. I'm going to just highlight it in backspace, okay? And I'm going to add affiliate source. I'm just going to do Facebook. Now, this is a social media offer, which means they have no problem with you advertising it through a social media. So this one. Um, I'm going to want to create another tiny URL and actually I want to uh, refresh it. I'm going to add source. It's got a subcategory which I don't like so here I'm just going to enter that, hit that. Wow. There we go. I clicked that to remove it. So it's just got Facebook. Um, I like that. I'm going to go ahead and copy it. Now I'm going to go here to tiny URL and I'm going to create another one. Oh. I can go back. Copy this. Right. Highlighted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to right click, copy, I'm going to go to tiny URL, I'm going to paste it in there, I'm going to hit make tiny URL, it's right there, you see it right there, it's right there, it's really short. 
I'm going to copy that. Now I want to keep it organized, so I'm going to go back to Word. I have this page here. I'll leave that one alone. I'm going to create a new one. the uh, link to sign up. So I'm going to take that, I'm going to copy that, um, I'm going to go to my Facebook page, <coughs> new window, Facebook, And you can do this from any other social network too, but I'm just going to go into Facebook right now. And I'm in Facebook a lot, so it should automatically sign me in, so we don't have to wait for that. And again, it's normally way faster than that. There, oh, there we go. It's going to make me log in. And I haven't shared this with my personal network, but I'm going to now. And again, this is optional. Some people don't like to do that. I like to put it out there. I have a lot of friends on Facebook. They share stuff back and forth. And, um, you know, I would actually share the actual offers, too, for those who want to lose weight. Um, I've done a lot of weight loss. To, you know, it's something people are always looking for. And especially if it's a product I use myself. So um, here we're going to go here to just what's on your mind, and I'm going to paste my description and that and the link there and you know sometimes you got to be careful you want to make sure it shows up at the bottom of the page so we're going to wait here for a second, and, and again, it's going slow because I have a lot of resources being used to record this. If you haven't done this on Facebook before, you want to make sure that your page shows up here on the bottom. So because the link is, is separate, it should show up here in a second.
Yeah, that's taking a second to do that. So I'll go back. We'll come back here and I'll, we'll look at that in a second. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close this down because we all know what a tiny URL is. Wow, that's taking a long time. I apologize. Okay, I'm going to pull up uh, Facebook again. We'll just wait for it. It's important that you make sure that the link is working. And in Facebook, you'll know because there'll be a preview of the of the actual uh, the actual site. I make mine public. Um, and so you guys have different settings. Um, I do. I just do it public and share it with everybody. There we go. See, now the web page is showing up down here, but at the bottom. And giveaway Hawaiian products. That's what we want them to see. When they click on it, it's going to go to my link. It's right there. I feel good about it now, so I'll go ahead and hit post. And that's now out to everybody on in my Facebook stuff, and hopefully some people will share it, um, which, which would be great. It could just be free money from them passing on to other people and other people and so on. Sometimes it does happen in Facebook. Uh, you know, I have about 5,000 friends on this account. Um, and we're always sharing stuff back and forth. So it's just, you know, it's one thing that's there. Um, and that's going to go ahead and post that out there. I'm waiting for it to finish here. And that's pretty much it. Now I'll go ahead and uh, go back to my Click Partners page. Uh, and if I go look at. Uh, offers you can pull up other ones that are available there we go again I go off of that anyway everything is here um, I'm sorry this is this is like bogged down I will redo this one uh, you know again later but it's pretty basic and hope you guys learned something from it and look forward to showing you more